The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is one of my personal favorite AWS certifications, but it won't land you a job. And that's because that wasn't the purpose of the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. In this video, we're gonna cover why the AWS Cloud Practitioner won't land you a job and what you can do instead to help you land one. Now, if you're new here, I'm Greg, creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud, and each week, I create a video to help you navigate your AWS cloud tech journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right now. Now, I know this may seem a bit shocking to you if you're just now digesting this information because you were in hopes that you would get the cloud practitioner and then submit your resume and get three job offers for over $100,000 a year. But I just want to be real with you. It's, it's not going to happen. And if it does happen, like reach out to me, let me know in the comments that it did. I'll be happy to be proved wrong and you can educate me because if you can do something that I don't know how to do, I'd be happy to learn it so that I can share it with others. Now, I'm going to take you through what I call the make it make sense, right? So I'm not just going to, you know, tell you, crush all your hopes and dreams and just tell you to accept it. Trust me, bro, right? No, I'm going to take you through why this is. So. The cloud practitioner falls uh, in the foundational level of AWS certifications. Now there's foundational, there's associate, there's professional, and then there's the specialty. Foundational level, as the name uh, will let you know, is it requires no prior experience. That means you don't need any cloud experience, you don't need any IT experience, or any technical experience, which is great if you are just jumping into the cloud. However, uh, you can only learn so much in a foundational certification uh, in order to be able to clear that certification. But once you get out of there, it just won't be enough. It's a foundational, high-level understanding of AWS cloud services, technologies, and terminology that the cloud practitioner will cover. And it's a good starting point for somebody just beginning their cloud journey. And it's also great for anybody who wants to switch their career into cloud and for business employees looking to enhance their cloud literacy. So the truth is, in a cloud role, for example, let's say you wanna be a cloud engineer or a DevOps engineer, right? You're gonna to need to bring a lot to the table to be able to clear that. And cloud practitioner is not going to cut it. Keep in mind now, I love the cloud practitioner, but the expectations have to be set correctly. Looking at the exam uh, guidelines here, in terms of what the uh, cloud practitioner validates, you're gonna need to uh, explain the value of AWS cloud. You're gonna need to explain uh, the AWS shared responsibility model, understand security best practices, understand the AWS cloud costs, economics, and billing practices, describe and position core AWS services. So you get a service and you know based on a set of services, which one is the best one to remedy uh, a certain issue or the best one to apply to that situation. Uh, and also identify AWS services for common use cases. Now this is all great stuff and this is gonna carry you on your way to being a great cloud engineer one day and being a great DevOps engineer one day, but in a vacuum, cloud practitioner in and of itself is not enough. Now I get this question a bunch. I wish you could get a job a cloud practitioner because guess what? If you could have, my ability to get a job in the cloud would have been a lot easier because I could have just done a cloud practitioner and then wham, I could have, I could have got a, a little, little, I could have got a job too. Well, that's a mouthful. Now that we have that out the way, let's talk about what you can do instead. Now, you don't want to put your hopes and dreams for your cloud career on the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. But here's the thing. You don't want to put your hopes and dreams on any certification because I know people that have three, four, five certifications that are having a challenge getting a job. And here's the reality why. Okay, so when you get a job, your employer is looking for you to be able to solve their business challenges with your technical skills. You learn what it is that your customer or your employer is trying to achieve. You work backwards from there. You take your knowledge that you've built up and your technical skills, and you apply that to be able to solve those business problems using your technical skills. 
Now, sure, getting certifications is going to help you, but just getting certifications alone and knowing theoretical knowledge is not going to be enough. You're also going to need to build hands-on skills as well. So let me get a little bit more specific. If you're brand new to AWS, by all means, don't let me stop you from getting the AWS Cloud Practitioner. This is not a video to bash the AWS Cloud Practitioner. I have made tons of videos and content singing the praises of AWS Cloud Practitioner, and it is a great certification. But once you understand that it is a certification that you should use in combination with something else and that AWS Cloud Practitioner is a starting point, not a means to an end, you're going to get um, have a better outcome when you look at it that way. So, yes, if you're new to AWS, start off with the Cloud Practitioner first. This is going to lay the groundworks to what you need to know to get you primed and set up. To learn some AWS. Now, getting into the technical aspects of AWS, the next part of that is looking at the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Solution Architect Associate is a role-based certification that falls up under the Associate Level tier. This, of course, requires some experience, and now you're going to be looking through the eyes of a Solution Architect Associate role, and you're going to need to know how to build secure, cost-optimized, operationally excellent, reliable, and performant applications in AWS Cloud. AWS Skill Builder, which is a learning platform by AWS, has tons of training that you can use to help prepare for this certification. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and link some of that training below in the description down below. Learning theory is great, but what about the hands-on labs? AWS Skill Builder has tons of labs you can do. You can take a look at Builder Labs, which you can do hands-on labs there. And there's another thing you can take a look at called AWS Cloud Quest for Solution Architect Role. There are over 20 labs in this three-dimensional role-playing game, which puts you through a virtual city. You get to interact with virtual citizens and solve real business problems using your avatar as you navigate the virtual city. In short, yes, as you get your certifications, Make sure you pair this up with hands-on skills, work on real projects, and start taking a look at these job descriptions, not after you've gotten all the certifications, but at the very beginning, so you can hone your skills based on the type of role that you want. Now I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments below where you are on your journey. Do you have any AWS certifications? Do you currently have the AWS Cloud Practitioner and you thought it would get you a job, but you're having a problem? Have you done any hands-on labs? Would have been some of your favorites. Talk to me down there below in the comments. And hey, while the AWS Cloud Practitioner won't get you a job, at least you know now something you can do to put you on a better path to that cloud role you've been looking for. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.